New Columbia receives approval to operate as a financing company. New Columbia, a subsidiary of Newbank in the country, has received official approval from the Financial Superintendents of Columbia, SFC, to operate as a financing company. Dave acquires a convertible promissory note for US$71 million. US-based US Neobank Dave had announced the repurchase of a convertible promissory note for US$71 million, originally issued to FTX for US$100 million. Decentro launches two modes for bank account verification. India-based boss startup Decentro has launched its penniless bank account verification API in order to enable firms to save time and onboarding costs for new clients. GHL partners with MasterCard. GHL has announced its partnership with MasterCard in order to provide its e-commerce merchants with MasterCard Click to pay for an improved online checkout experience. Zillbank.com to enable U.S. payments for South Korean entrepreneurs. B2B payment platform Zillbank.com has announced its plans to simplify payments to the U.S. for entrepreneurs and freelancers from South Korea. X-Transfer facilitates cross-border trade globally. B2B foreign trade financial service provider X-Transfer has launched expanded its business to over 200 countries and regions to serve SMEs in cross-border trade. Isla Bank joins Buna for cross-currency transactions. Bahrain-based Isla Bank, a digital mobile-only bank powered by Bank ABC, has joined the Arab payment system Buna. HitPay introduces TAP to pay on iOS in several countries. Singapore-based payment platform for small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs, HitPay has launched TAP to pay on iOS devices in Australia, Canada, France, the UK, and the US. Magnati partners with Oxinus Holdings. Middle East-based payment solutions provider Magnati has partnered with Oxinus Holdings to improve the payment landscape within the food and beverage industry. Wallex partners with IPID. Singapore-based FX and payments provider for B2B companies Wallex has partnered with IPID to improve the customer payment experience. Third Stream taps Thales for in-person IDV in Canada. Canada-based account onboarding fintech company Third Stream has extended its partnership with Thales looking to modernize in-person identity verification in Canada. One ID partners with credit reference agency Aperi Data. One ID has announced a new partnership with credit reference agency Aperi Data to provide customers with instant, responsible, and ethical credit decisions. Coinbase advances expansion with EU MiFID license acquisition. Coinbase has decided to acquire a European Union MiFID licensed entity based in Cyprus to improve access to derivative products for eligible customers. Tamara BNPL service integrates with Paymob Gateway. Paymob, the leading financial services enabler in the Middle East, North Africa, and Pakistan, Mina P, has announced its partnership with Tamara, the leading shopping and payments platform in the GCC region. HitPay delivers tap to pay on iOS in Australia, Canada, France, the UK, and the US. HitPay has launched Tap to Pay on iOS in Australia, Canada, France, the UK, and the US. Orange in Mali and Terra Pay Forge Cross Border Payments Alliance. Orange finances Money Mali, a leading electronic money establishment and subsidiary of Orange Mali, is proud to announce a groundbreaking partnership with Terra Pay, a global cross border payments network with an extensive reach. Ian Enterprise and Fils to introduce Carbon Offset Platform for Payment Transactions.
E and Enterprise today announced its strategic partnership with Fils, a groundbreaking fintech platform, establishing a new standard in the digital payment sector by promoting sustainability. Mastercard teams with Illico Cash to issue virtual cards in Democratic Republic of the Congo. Mastercard has initiated a strategic partnership with Illico Cash, the fintech arm of Rabank, to introduce a virtual card program in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC. Simon Wilson Taylor joins Fast Fin. Fast Fin, the New York based Capital Markets Innovation Lab and Incubator, today announced that fintech pioneer and serial entrepreneur, Simon Wilson Taylor, has joined its management team. B2C2 promotes Thomas Restout to Group CEO. B2C2, the leading institutional digital asset liquidity provider, today announces that Thomas Restout has been appointed Group CEO replacing Nicola White who has left the company. Newbank gets green light to expand into savings in Colombia. Brazilian digital banking behemoth Newbank is stepping up its presence in Colombia after receiving approval from authorities to operate as a financing company in the country. Risk screen rebrands as KYC360. Today marks an exciting chapter for Risk Screen as the company proudly unveils its new identity as KYC360, a name that echoes its commitment to revolutionizing the landscape of customer lifecycle management, helping customers to comply and outperform. Predictive Intelligence A game changer in mitigating fraud attacks on payments. The surge of faster payment systems has inadvertently paved the way for a surge in fraudulent attacks. Hitachi Payment Services acquires Ryder Corporation's cash management business. India-based Hitachi Payment Services has completed the purchase of Ryder Corporation's cash management business and brands at Hitachi Cash Management Services. LP Bank partners with with NGS and Finastra. LP Bank has announced its collaboration with Finastra, NGS Equipment, and communication joint stock company to improve its treasury capabilities. Paymob partners with Tamara to enable GCC SMEs. UAE-based Paymob, a financial services enabler in MENA P has partnered with Tamara, a shopping and payments platform in the GCC region. MasterCard partners with Illico Cash. MasterCard has announced a partnership with Illico Cash, the fintech arm of Rabank, to launch a virtual card program in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC. Cleva raises 1.5 million United States dollars in pre-seed funding. Nigeria-based fintech Cleva has announced that it raised US$1.5 million United States dollars in pre-seed funding, with the round being led by 1984 Ventures. Ant Group to acquire multi-safepay. Ant Group has announced the closing of its deal to acquire Netherlands-based multi-safepay for US$200 million United States dollars deal sources, in order to expand into the Western market. Orange finances Money Mali and Terra Pay partner on cross-border payments. Orange finances Money Mali has teamed up with Terra Pay to facilitate Malians to make cross-border payments with the diaspora across the globe. Coins paid hit by 7.5 million United States dollars cryptocurrency breach. Cryptocurrency payment gateway coins paid has encountered its second security breach within a span of six months. G20 Faster Payments Roadmap Could Boost Financial Crime, Report The G20's plan to make cross-border payments faster, cheaper, more transparent and inclusive could increase fraud and money laundering, warns a new report. Financial regulators consult on technical standards for the European Single Access Point. 
S's consult on draft implementing technical standards specifying certain tasks of collection bodies and certain functionalities of the European single access point. This concludes our current edition of the Bay Pay Forum podcast. Remember that you can read the full text of each article in our news section on baypayforum.com. We hope to see you tomorrow.